it's made to championship week, and that means there's always going to be controversy with Live Golf and their players being eligible to play. And it doesn't stop here. Now, Phil Mickelson, in the past, I've been a bit like, yeah, I don't really agree with what he said. He's been a little bit petulant. He's been a little bit, I don't know. I felt like he said things in the past for the sake of saying things. But in this case... I am fully behind exactly what he's saying. Now, with this, I want you to make a judgment on what he said on Twitter today. Let me know what you think. Is he right? Is he wrong? And I'm going to say it again. For the first time ever, I actually agree with him. Now, it's really interesting. If you actually look at what Phil Mickelson has said over the last 18 months to two years, it's pretty much nearly all came true. He said bigger players would come and join, and here we are. Okay, Without further ado, let's get into this. So, as I just said, it's Major Championship Week, and last week on the DP World Tour, they were playing for a few spots. And what that means is, if you aren't otherwise exempt, and if you won the DP World Tour then, or if you finished, think, in the top five, you had a chance of getting your ticket to the PJ Championship this week. So, Flushing It Golf tweeted this. I find this absolutely mad, by the way. We'll go through a few of what the comments from real golfers actually think too. But Flushing It Golf tweeted this. Never has there been a more obvious example of the immediate issue Live Golf faces than today. The Volvo China Open on the DP World Tour was played for around $2.25 million purse and several players qualified for the PGA Championship at Valhalla. Live Golf Singapore played for a purse 10 times that amount with a bunch of the best players of this generation, but zero of them qualify for the PGA Championship from the event. Liv can have the grandest of plans in their future, but getting players access to the major championships should be their number one priority, especially with the major exemptions running out fast and nearly all players' contracts up for renewal. Now, we do know the likes of Brooks Kepka, Bryson, Phil Mickelson himself, and... Um, John Ram, they're all going to be exempt. And a few others will be exempt. And I'm going to say, I think David Pugh, I really do hope I'm saying that right. There are rumors that he has been offered a, an exemption. Now, he's number 105 in the world. And that's a pretty strange move from the PGA Championship to offer him an exemption. That's a totally different story. But I think the point is here. A few of these big players' contracts that were three, four years old are coming up for renewal. And if these guys are falling out of that cycle of being eligible based on world ranking points or previous actual attempts at playing the major, will they think twice about rejoining Liv? I'm going to say one thing right now. I don't think so. Because we know there will be an agreement at some point And, well, I say some point. It just keeps getting dragged out month after month after month after month. And here we are at the PJ Championship, we're in May, and we still don't know anything. And on that point, if you do want to keep up to date with everything that's going to go on this week in Major Week, don't forget to subscribe and turn on the bell. So that was the tweet that went out this morning. As I say, we'll go through what some real golfers think, the likes of me and you, and other opinions. So this is what Phil Mickelson said this. Maybe some live players won't be missed, but what if none of the live players played? Would they be missed? What about next year when more great players join? Or the following year? At some point, they will care and we will have the answer to sponsors and television. F-A-A-F-O. Which I'm pretty much sort of stands for um, F around and you will find out. I guess he has a point. And I go back to what I said at the start of this video. We all questioned Phil Mickelson going. We all slated him. I mean, half the media slated him, and I, I, I joined that. But actually, a lot of what he said over the last 18 months has come true. I bet none of us saw John Ram going joining. We all saw Brooks Kepka because of the injury. That's fine. But we never saw the likes of John Ram going joining Live Golf. Now, I think John is in the point where he knows he's got access to the majors for at least the next five years based on his world ranking, but also based on his major championship records, the fact that he's won. But don't forget, his contract is around supposedly four to five years. Now, in that cycle, if Live Golf don't get any world ranking points and don't get any access to the majors, will he renew? I don't think that's going to be an option. I think we will have an agreement, hopefully very soon, and we need one because you know what? 
I'm getting bored of talking about it. I know it's interesting, and I know we want to find a resumption of this, but I just don't see where we are going to. So anyway, let's go and find some of these comments here. Josh said this, As a fan, pro golf is exhausting these days. Couldn't agree more. Now, a lot of people are saying that Phil Mickelson's a little bit deluded, and you know what? I don't agree with them. I think he's spot on with this. If more players join, they'll have no option because the majors won't be a major. The major, in my eyes, is the best players in the world playing on the stage. Whether you think they're the best, they are the best. Like DJ, right? Yeah, I know he's rusty and he's not played great the last few years. In fact, he's pretty much played terrible, really, if we're honest, for his level when competing outside of live. But we all know how good he can be. And I would want to see him play. I'm not going to lie. Now, as I said at the start of this video, let me know exactly what you think on this. I think it's a really interesting topic going into Major Week that Phil Mickelson has released a statement just like this. I'm sure much more will come in this week, so be sure to subscribe and turn the bell so you can keep up to date.